Hey, what's up, friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope and pray that you guys are doing well. Guess what? Today, I got an international. It's the first time I get an international. I've been getting uh, frontliners, but today I got an international, uh, which is fine. Uh, the thing is, I pray about it. When, I, when I'm leaving home, I'm like, Father, I pray that I get the right truck. And so, whichever truck I get, I just believe that's the track for me so even though internationals are really not my my favorite tracks at least I know I've prayed about it so I feel good about it for the trucks I've been getting ever since I started driving by myself I've only had one truck that had a microwave and so I've been kind of like waiting to see like if I really need to get my own microwave or if most of the trucks will have their microwaves but I've, I figure I figured I needed to get one because the other trucks I've been getting they didn't have a microwave so I ended up buying myself one so this time when I came I had a microwave so that when I need to warm up my food I don't have to be going to you know like truck stops or waiting to get to the DC but uh, as you can see for the frontliners they don't have the co i mean for the internationals they don't have the compartment like the frontliners do where you can be able to put the microwave so you just have to tie it down here now the other thing i noticed the cable is really short for the frontliners they have the inverter right here so i'm thinking the cable i mean it would be an easier thing right but then this right here they have the inverter right there but the microwave is right here which means i need to buy an extension cord so when they, they when i stop by the store i'll get an extension cord so i can be able to run it to where the inverter is even for my kettle the cord is is short i have to put it right here which isn't really nice i prefer for it to be here so it looks like either way i need an extension cord but I prefer this being in its own compartment, but the way they made the front liners, you just have to tie it down here. Either way, at least I'm glad I got myself um, a microwave. So anytime I need something to eat, I don't have to be uh, trying to figure out where to warm up the food. I started out from the DC, delivered a load, um, it was a drop and hook which was in a store in uh, North Richland Hills. Then I picked up a pallet load from there, took it to the pallet yard in North Lake. And then they didn't have anything on me, so I had to call them. Our system has been down. So I don't know if now it's, it's fine, but it took them a while to get me a load. But they got me this load that I'm picking up right here in Claiborne. There is a customer I'm picking up from I'm gonna take this load all the way to a DC in Missouri and then I'll see what they will have for me from there so they are loading me this is a live load from here I'm gonna head to I'm thinking I'm gonna stop somewhere in Oklahoma for my turn I, I don't know we'll see where I'll, I'll end up stopping most, most likely it's going to be a store. Good morning, good morning friends. It's a Friday and this is where I am. In Oklahoma, I spent the store, at, I mean, I spent the night at the store. As you can see, there are some other trucks right here. 
so according to the according to the GPS I have about 300 miles to go so I'm sure by the grace of God I should be able to make it to the DC today I just finished my pre trip and I think I'm ready to hit the road let's go So I stopped by to use the restroom to do some stretching and to talk to my family. So every about two hours I like to stop, uh, take a walk, like just to the restroom and then stretch. That way I get the blood flowing and then I call my family. Since they are in um, summer break, I get to talk to them at least every two hours. Call them, talk to them and then do some stretching and if I need to get something to eat like one of my stack if maybe uh, like it's back there and I need it close by I get it close by so I'm done with that time to continue to our destination Alright, so this right here is the exit to my destination. I had to show you this intersection right here because it was my first time seeing such an intersection. As you can see, it's not the usual intersection where you get off and you go to a light or you go to a roundabout. It's kind of a weird intersection. Even getting back on the freeway, it's like you have to pay really close attention at the signs to know where you are going. But anyway, I made it to this um, DC that uh, is in Missouri that I was going to. And then from this DC, I got a load that picked out of Kansas City. So you're going to see me go to Kansas City, pick up a load. And then uh, that load right there went to all the way to Bentonville in Arkansas.
All right, so I made it here in Bentonville, Arkansas, the hometown of Walmart. I don't know this is my second time coming here, but I'm going to tell you there is something that I like about coming to this city. I think there is, just knowing that this is where Walmart began from, it just like, I, I don't know, I just like it. I like it coming here because it gives me those kind of uh, nice feelings. But for those of you that are interested to come work for Walmart, again, I'm going to leave you my information. If you want to use me as a reference, my understanding is that it helps your application to be on top when you have somebody uh, to use as a reference. Feel free if you don't have uh, anybody to use, feel free to use me. So this is where I, I laid over. I uh, had my 10 hour break and then I have a story that I will tell you in another video uh, concerning the loads that I got the following day. Alright friends, until then, stay blessed and stay safe. Bye bye. Yeah, driver success, yeah, this is driver success Sharing my life, my life, it's as real as it gets Keep my faith in my creator, he is my navigator So tell me if you ready, cause you know I'm rolling steady A husband, father, Christian and truck driver Telling you my story and the world through my eyes So keep the faith, keep the faith. let's keep it fresh And this is driver success, yeah uh, Let's go